वेलकम टू श्री सत्य साई लोक सेवा गुरुकुलम फ्री ऑनलाइन क्लासेस इन साइंस आवर यू ऑल फाइन ए हैड अ फूड ओके बी हैप्पी ए बी सी कम ऑन विल टेल व्हाट इज ए बी सी ऑलवेज बी केयरफुल देन ऑलवेज बी cheerful avoid bad company do you remember okay the topic is about uh, coal and petroleum one of the greatest industries in india and uh, because it has got uh, lot of applications so in the previous class we have studied about exhaustible and inexhaustible resources exhaustible resources means that resources which get exhausted can you name some of them fossil fuels example coal petroleum natural gas inexhaustible means we do not get exhausted like uh, sunlight is a continuous source of light energy then you have air etc they are natural resources means obtained in nature okay <clears throat> so these are the three fossil fuels coal is in a solid form petroleum is in a liquid form natural gas is in a gaseous form so they are available in a three forms also we have seen about properties of coal what is the property of coal is a black color having pores it is uh, obtained in the bowels of earth coke also is another form of carbon is one of the purest substance a purest form of carbon you can say it is used in industries like that of iron the coal is used in production of electricity coal tar it is a black color liquid and a lot of applications are there from coal tar one of the forms of coal tar is bitumen which is used for roads coal gas it is a gaseous form of uh, coal so when coal is being extracted coal gas also comes invariably is a good uh, fuel used in industries so these are some of the things we have seen in the previous class coming to home assignments <coughs> name the following the petroleum product used for surfacing of roads Bitumen. There, what they do? That bitumen is heated strongly in different type of vessels. They are taken out in different vessels. Some nowadays they use a uh, ready-made, ready-made mixers. They go on putting on the road. Then there will be a roller, road roller, is it not? so liquid form of the fossil fuel is petroleum why it is called petroleum petro means rock oleum means liquid liquid obtained in the rocks in the crevices of the rocks is called petroleum what other name of that it is also called crude oil crude oil it is called crude oil 
because it is mixed with so much of impurities. The process of conversion of dead vegetation into coal is called carbonization. How it happens? That happens due to high temperature and pressure inside the bowels of the earth. Is it not? The process is called carbonization. The form of carbon used in the manufacture of steel is called coke. And what is that uh, device called? Blast furnace. Where can you see this? You can see it in Badravati. Blast furnace. And there they use the iron ore, namely hematite. Then they use coke and limestone. They are called ingredients. Raw materials. And the coke is also very important because it acts as a reducing agent. Iron ore contains uh, oxygen. So, <coughs> The oxygen present in the iron ore is reduced by coke. That's how, how it is used in the industries in a large scale. Okay. The gas obtained during the processing of coal into to get coke is called coal gas. It's also a good fuel and uh, it's a very big industry again. So, coal to coke. These are all forms of carbon, amorphous forms of carbon and uh, even coal gas also that is invariably present in that. Okay. Now coming to the today's topic, petroleum. Very interesting topic. And uh, how this was petroleum was discovered first in America? So there is an interesting story. You want to hear? Come on, sit straight. If you sit straight, I'll tell a story. It is in somewhere in the 19th century beginning. <coughs> this petroleum was discovered. And uh, in those days, in America, they had a peculiar kind of skin disease. Some of you also may have skin disease, something like itching and something like eczema. Is it not? So, they wanted to discover any medicine for that. One day, a merchant while coming to the shop found on the roadside some kind of froth bubbles coming out. It had a very peculiar smell. He was interested. He had a small bottle with him. He just took out some of the potion and put in the bottle. For his surprise, it was evaporating. Means it was getting into vapors. He tried his best and put into the bottle and uh, closed it and brought it and put in the put in the shop. And uh, some patients who are coming there who had some skin disease. He told try this. Just apply this, he said. Luckily, it happened as a medicine. So that skin problem what that gentleman had was not there. Tomorrow again he brought some more bottles. And he was kept silent because he wanted to get a very good uh, money. So if it is announced to others, uh, others also will go in search of it. So he made it secret. So every day he used to bring some bottles. One day he discussed with some of the other merchants also that there is something interesting here. And the smell was very peculiar. For example, kerosene. 
What smell can you give definition for that kerosene? What smell do you have for petrol, diesel, etc.? We can't name it, correct? We call it as peculiar smell. So, and one more thing you ask when you are just rubbed to the hands or legs, you get evaporated. That is another interesting thing. And uh, they discussed, and the matter went to some scientist. And they also came in search of that. They found that is very interesting liquid. So one of them, you know, wanted to take it out in a large scale. So in those days, there were common pumps. Common pumps were there. So using common pumps. Just as you have a pump, you know, to pull the water. How many have seen common pump? Just, you know, doing like this so that water will come on the other side. You have seen? Yes. So like that, there was one Derek, John Derek. He was the first man to put the common pump. He just... Uh, you know, put a common pump and then this uh, petroleum was taken out. And then they tried different experiments with that. They heated it, they cooled it, that all that. Anyway, it was a medicine for skin diseases. The word petroleum is derived from Petra means rock, oleum means oil. Don't forget the word, keywords, rock oil, also called as crude oil, other name is crude oil, crude, crude, crude because it is not so clear as it is mined from the rocks under the earth, so this is the surface of the earth, here these are the rocks. And uh, this is a layer of the gas here, what you call natural gas. Then you have oil layer. Then you have some portion of water. And this is the rock inside. So between the rocks, this oil was stored. And this stored oil, together with natural gas, are pumped out by different uh, types of machines and then can I name some countries which produce lot of petroleum? Yes, USA, Arabia, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, in India also is there. In India, the first uh, petroleum that was extracted was in Digboy in Assam and uh, let us see how the petroleum is formed. These are called petroleum refineries. It is in Mangalore. How many have seen Mangalore? It is in Suratkal, near Suratkal these refineries are there. So petroleum was formed from organisms living in the sea. And these organisms died, their body settled at the bottom of the sea, got covered with layers of sand and clay. Over millions of years, absence of air, high temperature and high pressure, they dead organisms convert into petroleum and natural gas. In the coal chapter, we have studied in the same type, that was a solid, wood and all. Here, this is a liquid. So together with that, you get uh, natural gas also. And uh, this is one of the refineries. What a refinery do? This uh, petroleum, what you get in the bowels of the earth, is refi refined. Acid is not useful. So petroleum is to convert into petrol, diesel, etc. Then only it will be useful. Okay, 
and this is uh, the first uh, first oil well drilled in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania in America in 1859. So this is the place where the first petrol petroleum was extracted from the earth. And after the 80 years, 1867, in Assam, there is a place called Makum. Now it is called as Digbai. The first refinery was found. And uh, this petroleum, of course, as I told earlier, is not of much use. Only when it is refined, it will be useful and that is called refining of petroleum. It is a dark oily liquid. It has unpleasant odor. It is a mixture of various constituents such as petroleum gas, petrol, diesel, lubricating oil, paraffin wax, etc, etc. So, this is one photo of uh, petroleum refineries. So what they do? They do a process called fractionating column or it is called fractional distillation. Fractional distillation. So distillation done under different temperatures. And uh, the different products what they get is petroleum gas, petrol, diesel, lubricating oil, paraffin wax, kerosene and your uh, candle and many of the perfumes what you use, okay. And uh, coal tar, these are all products. So, these are the different uh, processes where it is being refined. Okay, this is another photo and you might have heard about uh, Bombay High in India, one of the indigenous uh, petroleum refineries in Bombay High. It is about 30 kilometers in the sea, one of the great works, masterpiece you can call. The whole world has saluted India, means engineers and uh, scientists, because that was uh, about 30 kilometers in the sea, one should go. And uh, you may ask how it is found by the help of satellites. In satellites, they will locate the position of petroleum, not only petroleum, all the ores, minerals, and all. They locate by the help of satellites. And then lot of uh, you know rigs are taken and uh, bore wells are dug and uh, petroleum is taken out. It is sent to the city. Very tough job, please note. To stand in a place in the middle of the sea is not easy. Lot of fishes will be there, big, big fishes like shark, blue whale, and others. And uh, water also will be full of waves, and it is salt water. They have to stand and make a stand, make a big platform, and to dig a bore well. Then, after getting that oil, it should be sent down. And the bottom of the sea they sent by, by means of uh, different kinds of pipes, cement pipes. A very, very tough job, but they are done successfully. One of the greatest achievements of Indian scientists and engineers. It is in Bombay High. So, process of separating the various constituents and fractions of petroleum is known as refining. It is carried out in a petroleum refinery. 
refinery refinery means purification you heard about refined oil refined oil means a purified oil so here also the impure substances are removed out and pure substances are taken out to come into the different constituents some of the actually there are about uh, 2500 products are you following from petroleum there are about 2500 products but uh, for our study only a few are taken for example petroleum gas in liquid form lpg do you know what is the liquid present in lpg anybody it is called butane it is a liquid present in lpg with the formula c4h10 you might have seen big big cylinders made out of steel correct very heavy 15.5 kg so this is a very good fuel for home and industries lpg and petrol it is used in fuel in motors aviation fuel aviation means in aeroplanes rockets and all that solvent for dry cleaning what is dry cleaning cleaning done without the help of water so they do dry cleaning especially woolen clothes silk clothes etc kerosene fuel used for stoves lamps and for jet aircrafts you seen kerosene yes most of the house you have kerosene kerosene stoves you might have seen <coughs> diesel it is a fuel for heavy motor vehicles like lorries trucks and all that electric generators <coughs> lubricating oil it is used for lubrication <coughs> you might have heard about grease grease is a lubricating substance it makes the you no know, smooth running of the vehicle smooth running of the motors and uh, paraffin wax what you call it as wax it is used in ointments candles vaseline vaseline one thing you are using daily na night times when the cracks are there in the legs you use vaseline correct there is a petroleum product vitamin that is used in paints road surfacing etc so these are some of them some are obtained in the primary distillation some other in the secondary distillation like that there are about 2500 products of petroleum that's why it is in a great demand not only for vehicles but for all other uses as you see here okay now let us pass on to home assignment first question <coughs> fill in the blanks fossil fuels are dash and dash process of separation of different constituents from petroleum is called dash tick true and false true or false against the following statements fossil fuels can be made in the laboratory true or false coke is almost pure form of carbon coal tar is a mixture of various substances okay let us see what uh, bhagwan baba says last one kerosene is not a fossil fuel true or false let us see what bhagwan baba says his quotation faith is like our life breath it is impossible to live for a minute in this world without faith see you sleep in the night thinking that you are getting up in the morning suppose somebody says you are getting up is doubtful you won't sleep at all suppose you are getting into a bus ksrtc red color bus somebody says some bomb is there inside then you go and don't go to a bus at all so what you must have you must have faith there 
and boys, you know, go for hair cutting. The barber will have a lot of things with him. But you have faith that he is not going to cut my ears or nose, etc. With that faith, you will. So, faith is something very, very important. So, it works wonders. It is like our breath only. See how wonderful is our breath also. We take only oxygen, give out only carbon dioxide and water vapor. How it is done, that mechanism. So wonderful. So that is what Baba says. And uh, come prepared with the answers. Thank you.